Hello everyone! Today we are going to make these delicious air fried nuggets. They're soy gluten and nut free and of course they're vegan and they're so easy to make. So to make the breading we're going to take some rolled oats and you're just going to pop those in a blender and you're just going to blend them until we get oat flour and you want it to be as fine of a consistency as you can get. Think as close to regular all-purpose flour as possible. So just blend it up for about 30 seconds to a minute however long it takes your blender and then they'll look like this when they're all done and this worked so well as a breading and an outer coating i really enjoyed it we're gonna flavor it with some nutritional yeast onion powder salt paprika garlic powder and just mix that up set that to the side after it's all mixed up and of course you can add any seasonings in and spices that you like and then to make our inside of our nuggets we're just using a can of chickpeas so you're going to save the brine aka aquafaba from this because we're going to use it later on dump all the chickpeas back into the blender and then you're going to add in some salt a little bit of poultry seasoning and garlic powder blend it up until the chickpeas are really broken down in like a very thick smooth hummus and you really want them to be completely broken down no bits of chickpea left so it looks like this and then we're just going to pop that into a bowl so now we can start making our nuggets so i have everything all set up and as you can see this is really thick like i was just showing you how thick it is so we have our aquafaba we have our oat flour that we made and we have our chickpea mixture so i wanted to make 12 nuggets so i was just measuring it out scoop like about 15 to 20 grams or about one heaping tablespoon shape it into a nugget we're going into the aquafaba first and we're just going to coat it and then we're going to go into the breadcrumbs or the oat flour breadcrumbs whatever you want to call it tap it on we're going to do a double breading i love a double breading make sure everything really is coated nicely so back into the aquafaba and back into the oat flour one more time and the aquafaba works so well here as sort of like an egg replacer and to get those oat flour bits really stuck on there well so it'll look something like this when it's all done pop it on a dish and you're just going to repeat the process until you've made all of them i think 12 was a great number because they were a really good size but if you want to make them a little bit smaller a little bit bigger it's totally up to you and whatever you want to do and i suggest having a wet hand and a dry hand and that's it then they're all done and they look like this and now we're ready to air fry them i'm going to give them a nice generous coating of spray oil so i'm going to spray the one side and then i'm going to pop them in my air fryer bin and i'm just going to put them the side down that i sprayed them so then i spray the other side air fry them until they are golden and crispy and the baking instructions on the blog post they'll look like this when they're done they look so good and you can also hit them with one final oil spray when they're done in case they need it sometimes there's still some white spots from the flour now i'm just adding some ketchup and some salt and some greenery to this dish and that's it these are so easy to make they're so quick and delicious they're great in wraps salads bowls full written out recipes on my blog where you can find the ingredients written out down below and i really hope you try these out they're really delicious they're a great alternative for nuggets and i think you all will really really enjoy them so thank you so much for watching thank you for being here if you like my videos please make sure to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you next week with another video bye